Good day everyone, especially to our loving professor, Mrs. Carla Joy T. Palaris. So, for today's video, I will be discussing the topic that assigned to me. But before that, let me introduce myself to all of you. My name is Maria Diadem I. Prado, 19 years old. I live in Barangay 2, Kasiguran, Aurora, and I'm currently taking Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in English 2. Back to our lesson, so my topic is all about why we should teach grammar. But first, let me ask you, what is grammar? Grammar is the important pillar of every language. Grammar is the backbone of a language and structure which you need to organize your ideas and put your messages, ideas, and feelings across. The structure in formal grammar provides extra clues to the meaning of your sentences which can help overcome problems caused by accents and mistakes. In short, learning grammar helps us in understanding the usage of those words which should be only for correct genders and things. Grammar has a major impact on what we say or write, and we can compose ideas and express ourselves. So, why we should teach grammar? Grammar instruction should not be ignored. About grammar teaching, Frank suggests that much of the effort spent arguing against the teaching of grammar might be better spent on convincing true believers in grammar instruction that grammar has a newly defined but useful role to play in language teaching and in showing them what it is. To be an effective language user, learners should study grammar because grammar skills will help learners to organize words and messages and make them meaningful. Knowing more about grammar will enable learners to build better sentences in speaking and writing performances. So, a good knowledge of grammar helps learners to make sentences clear enough to understand. Improper use of grammar will not convey meaningful messages. To establish an effective communication, learners need grammar skills. Therefore, without grammar, speech gets meaningless. Grammar is an essential aspect to communicate effectively. Moreover, grammar simply is creating well-organized reading and writing performances. Teaching grammar effectively is about enabling children to control grammar to express increasingly complex ideas. When grammar is taught well, it can make a significant difference to children's literacy development. So here are the seven key principles to bear in mind when teaching grammar. First is, build up your own subject knowledge. To teach grammar, you need explicit as well as implicit knowledge to be confident about using the correct terms and explaining this. Don't just learn the next term you are teaching. It is important to be able to relate new learning to other features and the text as a whole. The second one is, give talk a high priority in your classroom. Children need to be able to select from a wardrobe of voices that include standard English. Next is, remember the purpose of teaching grammar. Grammar is not simply the naming of parts of speech or for teaching the rules of English. It needs to be strongly embedded in classroom talk, reading, and writing. Fourth is, Teach grammar in context. By introducing children to grammatical features and language in context, you will be helping them to internalize these principles. Try not to go for the ready-made solution by using a worksheet from a book. So for me, it will make very little difference to children's use of language and will be meaningless for those learners who are not yet able to think in abstract ways. Fifth is, Read aloud and discuss how authors use grammar. Children who read extensively and are read to will have a toolbox of structures, patterns, and rhythms to draw on. Be systematic. Make sure you know what the class you are working with have already learned and what they need to learn now. Link new learning with their prior knowledge. And last but not the least, make learning grammar fun. Teaching grammar can involve investigations, problem solving, and language play as a part of developing children's awareness of 
and interest in how language works. So, why is it important to introduce grammar in context? Grammar instruction is a difficult issue in language teaching. Teaching grammar through context will help learners perceive the structures of the language effectively. If learners are given grammatical structures in context, they will be able to master the language better. Teaching grammar in context will help learners to acquire new grammar structures and forms. Learners will use grammatical conventions more effectively in communication if they learn them in context.